I hope everyone's now refreshed and re-energized and ready for another um, interesting afternoon discussion around One Health. So I'm just going to take a few minutes to um, recap on uh, what happened yesterday before I pass you on to the co-chairs of today's ses gender session. So yesterday we welcomed 980 unique participants onto our online um, platform who, um, and at any one time we were, we were averaging over 350 people online. I think this is a really exciting sort of indication of how interested people are in One Health and what's going on in Kenya. Um, and we um, saw, um, as we were expecting, a majority of participants um, coming from Kenya, but we also had a, a global reach and we saw people come from the region, but also as far afield as um, the UK, Australia, China. Mm -hmm. So this is um, testament to a, to a great sort of um, opportunity for online um, and virtual uh, meetings. And while we also had the majority of attendees from academia, we were really pleased to see a really good selection of attendees from um, the public and private sector, as well as NGOs. So um, we kicked off our meeting yesterday. Um, we were honored to be joined by the Director General of ILRI, Dr. Jimmy Smith, um, who stressed the importance of breaking down institutional insularity, working together in solidarity in the One Health space, and really encouraging an increase in the amount of funding available to allow One Health approaches to flourish. He also made a call for um, improved surveillance and, pro and a proactive approach to prevention and preparedness. And this was echoed in our keynote speech from Professor George Warimwe, who demonstrated One Health in his approach to pr producing multi-species vaccines and who told us very emphatically that he still retains his veterinary roots whilst uh, um, really sort of extolling the, the benefits of a multi-sectoral approach to his medical colleagues. Our scientific presentations ranged across a variety of spaces with epidemiology of emerging and um, endemic zoonoses, antimicrobial resistance, and branching into somewhat new areas of urban health and understanding forced migration and displaced populations as a driver for disease. Um, our scientific session was rounded off with a really lovely um, example from a pilot project in an interesting animal-human wildlife interface in Kenya, which was seen by many participants as a great example of collaborative working. Um, the talk on AMR in, in slaughterhouses was also highlighted by participants as being a great example of collaboration and a lot of interest in the, the work um, done by the um, team working in urban Nairobi and the importance of pulling in urban planners, acknowledging that the urban space is going to be the population, the, the home of the future for our global population. We did, however, note that there were aspects of One Health missing, and people really sort of noted that we needed more representation from the climate sciences, plant sciences, and the socioeconomic sphere. And this is really important for our planning um, in, for future conferences. Um, we had a re some really great comments on our need to ensure that our One Health research is policy relevant and actually sort of is, is taken up and moved into policy and practice. So I want to highlight that tomorrow we are having a, a very important discussion on this fact, and we're going to hear from um, our keynote speaker, Dr. Mark Nanyingi, on his experience of building One Health policies in the region and a great selection of policymakers um, who are going to be talking in our panel. So make sure you come back tomorrow. Um, we also, we rounded up yesterday with a great panel discussion where five eminent and experienced researchers, none of whom were vets, so we quite like to, to highlight the diversity there, um, <laughs> discussed how they apply a One Health approach to their work and what challenges they encounter. There were some really strong messages on the need for platforms for institutions to better collaborate, 
um, and share their experiences and build a common vision. The need to make a clear case for One Health to our funders and donors and the need to carry out policy relevant research. So these really echoed throughout this, the um, sessions from our keynote on, uh, from our opening statement by uh, Jimmy Smith through our keynote and onwards. Um, and we ended with a really positive message from our participants, which was about how they would go out and really try to improve their collaboration and their communication, as well as messages about enjoying the journey, the One Health journey, and that they will never give up. So as we continue our journey today, I would now like to pass on to the co-chairs for today's session, Do uh, Professor Salome Bukachi, Dr. Bernard Bett, as we now go on to consider how gender may be mainstreamed into the One Health approach. Thank you so much. Ah, I'm very sorry. I should have written, I should have kept the agenda. Please can I pass to my colleague, Dr. Nicholas Bohr to um, run us through a couple of menti questions before we start the gender session, sorry. So thank you very much, Lian, for the recap from yesterday and for our participants, welcome back on board. Today's session will have some interesting stuff, stuff that we don't talk about, neither research, neither implementation. implementation. But we'll be, but talking, we'll be about talking about gender, <coughs> gender in One Health. We'll see what, we'll see what, that, what that involves. Then, then later on. Later on we'll talk about One Health Education. So, so today's, we'll, we'll, as usual, as usual, we'll log into we'll log into Menti. The code is, is 29, 29437444. All right, let's see what, what you're getting. <coughs> What does one gender in one gender health in one health mean? All right, sorry, we had a technical hitch there, so we can go back. What does gender in one health mean to you? Yeah, so we are getting some responses there, and equality in access to health, putting women at the center. Somebody say Somebody so. Say so. And and equal opportunities. Equal opportunities. All right. Okay. Okay. So we we'll listen what gender means to us. So we we'll, we we'll listen back. We we'll listen back to our session leader, Professor, Professor Sally. Sally. Gotcha. 